Yep. Hello, Gorangies are on view for a sale on the 1st of August. August comes around all too soon, it seems. And as ever, good mixture to show you. Pictures, wines, ceramics, but I've picked out a few things. There's one particular collection in the sale that stands out, and that is a private collection of taxidermy and entomological specimens. Oh, that's Such, easy for you to say. It is easy for me to say, apparently. Such as, should you want a pair of whore finches, or similar sort of finches anyway, together with a little robin, lot 375, they could be Aww. yours. We have pike in cases, lot 374. Things like this, 372, look, rather lovely cabinet, late Victorian or thereabouts, mostly vacant trays, but down the bottom, lots of slides of a botanical nature, many of them either amateur made or professionally purchased with um, details of where they come from. Some are sort of old Victor Edwardian and Victorian and some a lot later, so there we go. Deer's heads, butterflies, what's in here? 369, more butterflies. Dan's checked to make sure they're not um, British ones that can't be sold. Uh, in here, 368, what could it be? <gasps> oh. Bugs and beetles, look at that, fabulous lot. Gosh, look at him on the left. Yeah. Can you open it a bit more? Yeah, I think you've seen that. That's nothing, lady. Oh there we go. Oh my gosh. Wow. And on. And on. <laughs> How about a... Um... Oh, it smells funny too. Yes, it does smell funny. Yes. I should, it, 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 it's not smell of vision <laughs> It's not smell of vision but if it was, it, it's got that lovely camphor smell. Uh, there we go. Bird scar skeleton, lot 367. Horse and pig, lot 366. We've got pickled lizards. We've got a rather unusual group here, 364, with some sort of Asian heron flanked by parrots together with a terrapin and a kingfisher this it seems to be sort of put together rather than for one particular country there's blooming great buffalo skulls um, lap wings from another source but lap wings and then down here you wouldn't want these landing on your shoulder look at that lot oh. <laughs> i do like the noises you're making Sorry. look at those think... mm. wow amazing colors aren't they they are amazing colors so, plenty of that to um, revolt you or, or, or delight you. Uh, something else? Just... Yeah, let's move on. Oh, really? What a shame. How about that? If you want a nice map of Sussex? Not so many people do these days, yeah. but should you want one, that is a lovely early example. It's 1676 printing, I think, from memory, a little bit earlier, uh, the original. Um, glazed on the back so we can see the text. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? In... Uh, Spanish, it looks like, unusually. You get them in Latin, French, all sorts, English, obviously. Um, so that's 653, 1 to 150. Nice clean map of Sussex, nice present for somebody. Um, further taxidermy, look, stick insects. That is an enormous. Flying lizards. Wow. I think that's a water scorpion. 388. Kookaburra. You're just showing off now. Yeah, I am. How about. Uh, oh. some, watch on your shoulder. Ooh. Oh, now Patrick, our photographer, will. Shriek, yeah, freak. Like that. 385. There's exotic birds here, including a bird of paradise. 383. Some fossils, and then down in front here, I picked out a few smaller things from uh, from behind the counter mostly. But this, I love this. 288. Um, it's uh, completely uh, useless as far as I can tell. It's a uh, true. It's a lamp signal. Um, from sort of round about First World War era. And what I love about it is the condition, which essentially looks oh, kind right. of unused. Look at that. So we've got lamp signaling B, reform lighting code 1914. There we are, the date. In its original case, in with the folding handle there, with the container for the oil, little um, arrow, uh, arrow stamp showing it's that military been issue. Used, it's it? never been used. And then in here, spare lenses or other bits and pieces, all in the original box. There we go. Not much use to anybody, but what a great thing. Estimate 60 to 80 pounds. Equally of little use. Lot 452, a sperm whale tooth, scrimshaw being the decoration. Catalogued as 19th century. Do we think that's period decoration? I think it's later. I think that's 20th century. The, the way these figures are done, 
is just a little bit cartoonish rather than naive and naive is what you're looking for so right. my view that is later decoration but it's still a nice thing and the estimates three to four hundred which is a little bit pushy if it is later so the opinions may differ on that how about a piece of lalique a nice box powder bowl or otherwise lot 416 so it's lalique so we look underneath is it our lalique no it's not it's just lalique france so it's a post-war piece. It's quite a common pattern. So estimate one to 150. Then how about something completely uh, different? Uh, there we go, lot 257. Uh, not quite sure. Well, I think we can all see what's going on there, but not quite sure uh, what, what the uh, thinking is behind it. Anyway, 257, uh, beautifully made from the finest of resins. Uh, estimate 60 to 80. So you could be bidding on the signal lamp quite, or quite the. Quite intrigued by that. Yeah, it's all going on, isn't it? Yeah, I'm trying to work out what that is down there. I, I'm not looking closely. Oh, yeah. It's symbolic. Okay. Equally, 463, Meerschaum. What is Meerschaum? Well, Meerschaum um, is, is an amber like material that washes up usually on the shores of the bowl and it, it's very burn resistant and it carves rather beautifully so lots of pipes have been carved out of meerschaum this is the meerschaum part that is amber which equally would wash up on the shores of the baltic in particular um, you get all sorts from very boring ones plain ones right through to highly ornate um, heads and what have you what's interesting about this one We've got the hand grasping the lady, but there's a there's a panel. I don't know if I can display this. Uh -oh. <laughs> there's a rude panel. Oh, that is so funny. So that is quite unusual so, in so... Scrimshaw, in uh, Meerschaum. Gosh. With its original case, um, you know, and and this is that's it's things like that that makes things rare and therefore a bit more collectible. Oh, that is We're funny. just saying about one fifty to two hundred. The mouth that this piece is broken, which is a shame, but otherwise looks pretty good. So there we go. Some um, erotic collectibles <laughs> and antiques, uh, signalling lamps, all sorts of bugs and beasties, um, mixed lots of burgundy. It's all here. Good lot of furniture as well in the warehouse. Still lots of garden things. Garden things are still selling well. There's, as ever, the silver and the jewellery and what have you. So come along and see us. 1st of August, we look forward to seeing you at the sale. Thank you.